everybody. Welcome back to Something Simple Games. This is Zelos, and we're continuing our journey with Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Oh, yeah, we just crossed the bridge, didn't we? And had that battle with the guy and the hammer. Oh, look at that. That's just wicked. There was something used to be here. That's going to come into play. Alright, let's see if we can figure this out. Is this a puzzle already? I came in one of these doors. So I imagine it's not going to let me open the one. One time. Nothing like a creepy old door. That's gonna be part of it. Yeah, I can't even open that door. So the way to continue is this way. We're gonna have to trigger this door. Uh, but after we trigger whatever is in here. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. So for anybody who doesn't know, um, these little story stones, there's so many of them in each chapter of the game. And the ones that you've come across have uh, are indicated in white, and the ones that you haven't activated yet are indicated in red. And the individual chapters of the games are indicated by the little dots. So it seems like in the first chapter I got them all, in the second chapter I missed one, in the third chapter I missed one, in this fourth chapter there's only two. And that's the first one. So let's see if I can find the second one and not totally botch that up. I did not know there was a door right there. Okay, so why don't we do this? Gotta find three of these things. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. that you uh there we go okay, so now I need to find the S probably through that door door doesn't unlock. Oh. Okay, let's see if that'll work. I don't know.
not expect them to do that sort of trick in this game. I mean, I should have, because that's what they've led me up to. Um, Alright, now we're getting ready. Yeah. Of course, it's going to be like right here. It's got to be that. with a creepy little cliff crawl. Oh, Senua. Your father does not hate me. He just fears the souls in the underworld. He cannot see that they are already afraid. But I am their healer, and I must answer their cries for help, even if it displeases him. I expected her to say more than that, honestly. I guess that's just one way of getting us to that little bit of story. chapter. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. Okay, because they're not trying to, you know, scare you at all. So that's why that door wasn't unlocked earlier. I want to go up there and see if I missed anything. Because it looks like I could have done other things up there. And yeah, there's another ladder right here. through that gate.
source of the darkness. It's coming. This is your moment. That's a big boy. I'm sorry. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Did my sword just break? Well, that's not good. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there is no one left to do that for you. Take it! If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your sword. Do Come on. Why go on, when you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined? Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. Spires. 
Probably always. <laughs> We're gonna check the perimeters. she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. Was her world like this one, barren and lonely? This game has got some depth to it. Depth to it. And death, I guess. They're both correct. Senua, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted, like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home, it does not ask you to swim against it. this lady. great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day 
Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Interesting. It's better if I just hold on to the focus button. Otherwise, like, the surrounding sounds overpower the voice of that, especially whenever there's so much depth going on in the audio right now. Okay. So I clearly have to go up there. But why all this other stuff? Oh. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well... That night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Interesting. Okay, so can't get up to that yet. This is the ladder. too much on like the wrong aspects of certain mythology but it seems like everything kind of serves a purpose towards her end goal day after day watching from afar she mimicked him affecting her own secret dance wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last Sigmund's face. He bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood.
You're gonna pull me right out of this bliss and right into some darkness. What's your name? Yep, here it is. Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I... I watched you. And... You... learned all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. You're here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Sigmund's sister trades shifts with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured and Sigir has them buried alive. Okay, so apparently they were buried alive. Let's see how far this rabbit hole goes with this story. This is going to be interesting. I really like whenever they do things like this, where they break down like the Norse mythology into sec segmented sections. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. Yep, still really impressed with this game. Just 
Let's go. I mean, I'd like to see some combat. There's the third one. But I don't know exactly what I'm going to do without a sword. Unless I'm about to find Odin's sword. That was struck into the tree. I can't believe I just put that together. That's probably exactly what's going to happen. But they're going to trick me for it. Give his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can't you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. Interesting. So the controller vibrates whenever you're looking for the... whenever you can feel the breeze. The others, the voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet, so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. I think I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. 
What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. So now I gotta listen to the water. Reach the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow me down the street. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Shenor. My father. He taught me that the hardest battles are fought in the mind, not the soul. You're no coward. Prove that to me in the warrior tribe. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't for that. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior. Dead bodies all in the river and stuff. I know what you're thinking. It's not really you. It seems there's no escaping the past in this place. She's forced to relive it. To what end? Okay, still going upstream. There's no water. I can't go on this way. Then look for another way and tell me what you find. There is a house. Interesting. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. <gasps> Ooh, okay. And yeah, don't be afraid and you fall into a house that's just complete There's darkness. Do you see it? No. Then it cannot see you. Quietly move past one step. So there's something in here. And I gotta avoid it. Huh? Shh, 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 shh. Don't run into chains. Okay. It's not following me. Leave it behind and keep moving forward. Not gonna lie, this is like really intense because you're just robbing all sensory. Oh no. I'm probably gonna die here. There's these things are definitely moving.
I'm just hoping they don't hear me. Okay, they can actually cross into the light. Which is not good. I guess I just need to make sure I don't touch them. As well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. Oh, that can't be good. Did you? Help me. literally running towards the light right now. This seems like a really bad idea. But... She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. You see me? Your eyes were open, but you were gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. I think this is a great place to end this episode. These trials are going to be really interesting, and uh, I really can't wait to do more of them. This is really actually exciting. Um, so stay tuned for our next episode, and uh, click like and subscribe to keep getting updates and uh, watch our videos. Thank you.